Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-six in chapter nine. Chapter nine is about linear momentum. In this one, we can see the astronaut with the capsule, space capsule, right? So the mass of this astronaut we consider is object A. The space capsule we consider is object B. And there, the mass A is given, mass B is given, and then. Initially, this two object is stationary, so initial velocity is zero, and final velocity for A is given, two point five meter per second, right? Now the first question asks you the final velocity for object B. How can you do that? There we can consider this is a linear momentum conserved, because no external force act on A and B during this process. So we can see the initial momentum equals to the final momentum, and input as a known quantity inside. We can get the final velocity for B. There, the B has a neg has a negative sign. This negative sign tells us the direction for the velocity for B. It moves backward when A moves forward. Agree? Yes. The second one asks you, uh, if this uh, time taking. Tell you the time taking for this process. Ask you the average force, right? So this one, the B, we just get it. Now we need to find the average force. So average force for this one for A is just as a change of the momentum for the object A. Do you agree? So final momentum for A minus initial momentum for A divided by the delta T is average force. This is the Impulse equals to the change of the momentum, and then we can input the known quantities. Get the final answer. The force for average for A. The third one asks you to find the kinetic energy for each other after the push it. So the first one, the kinetic energy for A is this one. The one half m a v a plus square. This v a plus is the final velocity for A. Then we get the final answer. The kinetic energy for B is one half m v v b plus square. So v b plus is the final velocity for the object B. Then we get the final answer there. Thank you.